Happy Monday, Facebook, my friends. How is everyone today? This Monday is special. Well, every Monday is special for me just because I love Mondays. Like, Mondays are the day where I just get to do everything all over again. And when you love what you do, um, you love the people that you hang out with, hopefully you do. Hey Sherry, hey Talitha. You know, um, Mondays are just like, just like any day. It's like the weekend, you know, because you're always having fun. So anyway, that's not what I, what I went live for. Um, I was just thinking that, um, you know, I have been following this specific lifestyle for over a year. Um, thank you guys for tuning in for well actually for over two years. It's crazy I can't believe it. It feels like it's just going by so fast because I'm having fun. I feel amazing I feel probably the best I've ever felt um, Even probably in my 20s. That's how great I feel right, but there was a time in my life where I asked the question Why the heck do I feel this way? right um, I was I just had my second baby, our second baby, I was obviously very tired because obviously lack of sleep um, comes with a new baby, but that's not really the biggest thing because I've had that before, no, no problem. Um, but having our second baby at that age, I, I was 34, it was rough. Um, after, after I gave birth, I just started feeling the sugar cravings that just felt like overwhelming um, where it just preoccupied my mind every day and I I couldn't really I'm like I'm like is this normal is this normal to be thinking about sugar all day what is wrong with me you know um, I was talking to Sherry we, we were driving back um, from Texas Dallas yesterday and she um, I mentioned to her that um, I forget that I used to feel that way, that I used to think that way. And I had, I came to a point where I looked at the Bible or Googled actually scriptures that helped me with the strength to say no to carbs. So ultimately it was a sugar addiction, right? And looking back, gosh like it is it's rough to 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 deal to live that way because not only are you thinking about it when you go to bed uh, or all day right before you go to bed as soon as I woke up that was the first thing in my mind I'm like I'm ravenous I'm gonna raid the fridge I'm gonna raid the pantry I don't care I need to eat something you know that Snickers commercial I use that commercial all the time just because I can relate to it I can relate to the fact that when I get hangry or that sugar craving hits me, it's like I'm hangry, right? Like I become a diva and my my son, my, my, my husband knows that when I'm hungry, I sound differently, I'm very annoying, <laughs> you know? Um, that's how I was and that's how I operated most of the day and I freaking... I forgot I forgot that that's how life used to be and um, that it's no longer that like I used to go to a restaurant and order like look at the dessert menu and order the, the biggest like chocolate cake I can find right like if we went to Chili's which used to be my favorite restaurant not anymore if we went to Chili's I said that if you go to Chili's and you don't have the chocolate molten cake, that's a sin. I used to say that and then I used to say that I have a separate compartment for sugar or for sweets for dessert. Um, so it, it just, it's amazing to now look back and, and see that that was the person that I was and that's how I felt all the time. And then nowadays, I don't even think about it. It doesn't even enter my mind to even want sugar I'm like sugar what sugar <laughs> you know what I mean like it's not calling my name anymore like even if I do have it I don't go crazy and eat the whole cake which I've done in the past by the way right so if you're feeling that way I just want to encourage you and let you know that there is a way 
that you can you can overcome if you don't stop looking for a solution and if you really know that you overcoming that is also going to help you help others with that same struggle then it's not just about you it becomes this bigger cause because ultimately for me as a fitness trainer having that issue of sugar addiction I'm like you know what I think that God is giving me this struggle because he knows that when I overcome it there were there, I'm gonna be able to help a lot more people with it and without having to cry I'm gonna stop this live probably pretty soon um, when I overcome it then I can help others who are going through because I know that I'm not the only one you know so maybe maybe you're that person maybe you know somebody who's like that oh and by the way I almost forgot gosh um, I was in Dallas with my sister this past weekend and um, hey Shane hey Hannah and she told me that my mom who has been drinking soda since we were young like I'm talking 60 years stopped drinking soda and I'm like are you serious and I know she has been drinking ketones for a while and it's not about the ketones but that was a solution that helped us right I'm like oh my gosh that is so powerful to just re even realize that my mom who I never thought can get rid of her sugar addiction and hi mom I love you if you're watching my video <laughs> um, that she's gonna go get over that and for me as a daughter like wow I'm giving my mom the gift of longevity and quality of life because now probably for the next 20 years or, or so that she's alive she's no longer gonna be drinking soda and it's just crazy that I, I didn't even think about that until now um, but it's just amazing so if you feel like that like that sugar your sugar addiction is just coming over you or overcoming your your willpower like I want to encourage you there's a solution you can overcome it it's out there don't give up um, and it's it's not it you, you're not supposed to feel that way there's a way to feel better and all you have to do is maybe ask me but also just like work on it until you overcome it right and find a solution and never give up so I hope that um, that was helpful for you guys thank you for tuning in on a Monday night um, and I hope that this helped you if you have any questions feel free to um, direct message me or chat here in the comment section and um, we'll go from there have a good night guys bye